Hey guys, these are the five most common mistakes made in any chemistry exam. So I mark a lot of your chemistry work and the same mistakes keep cropping up over and over again. So here are the five most common mistakes people make in a chemistry exam and how you can avoid them. So first of all, organic chemistry. You have to remember that carbon makes four bonds, hydrogen makes one bond and oxygen makes two bonds. That's the end of the name will tell you what type of bonding there is in there. So an alkane with an A-N-E -E is going to be single bonding and an alkene with an E-N-E -E is going to be double bonding. But the most common mistake I see here is giving the wrong number of bonds to the wrong element. So carbon four, hydrogen one, oxygen two. The second most common mistake is not being very precise in what you write. And the examiners say this all the time in their report. You can't just say clear, you have to say colourless. You have to be more specific on your colour changes. What did it start off as? What did it end up as? And clear is not a colour. Now those tiny little letters we get all over the place, some of you have them jumping around all over the place. And this is not good. This is not where things are supposed to be. Your numbers need to be small and they need to be down the bottom. Things up here are in maths and I'm not your maths teacher. The other thing with elements is your capital letters. An element, the symbol for it, will have a capital letter at the start and if there is a second letter, it will be lowercase. If you write two lowercase letters, you're not gonna get the marks. If you write two uppercase letters, you're not gonna get the marks. Sorry, but you're writing rubbish. The other really common place people make mistakes is in the maths. So, do you round numbers and then use that number in the next calculation, or do you store it in your calculator's memory? This can lead to rounding errors. Now, these aren't very common in chemistry, but it still can occur and it will still lose you marks. So, if you have a really, really long number to use, store it in your memory's calculator and then use it. So, I hope that was helpful guys, and remember, I'm here to help you with anything that you need. Just ask in the comments below. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.